Hey there y'all, I'm Avery. Today I've got another grocery haul for y'all from Whole Foods and HEB. It was 4th of July this week, so we got a few more pre-packaged salads and things like that just because we had events going on and it just made it easier and I'm excited to show you what we got. So let me show you starting with Whole Foods. Here is our haul from Whole Foods. So starting over in the veggies, we've kind of got kale central over here. We have dino kale for smoothies, regular kale. I'm going to use that. I'm going to massage it and make a kale and beet salad for one of our starter salads this week. Kale Caesar. I haven't had this in a while, but we're going to have spaghetti and I really like to have Caesar with spaghetti and this is a little bit healthier. So it's got cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, romaine, and that comes with the dressing for you. So that'll just be make it easier for one night. Spinach for smoothies, for salads, the bananas for snacking and smoothies, parsley for recipes, two tomatoes. I'm going to make a pico de gallo uh, to go with one of the vegetarian meals that we're having this week. It's basically a loaded baked potato nacho type situation. So baked potato with beans, pico de gallo, cheese, sour cream, all that good stuff. Pear for snacking. Blueberries for my boyfriend to snack on for breakfast. And then sweet potato for lunches. Basil for the spaghetti. Garlic just for all the different things you need garlic for, all various recipes. Mushroom ravioli. So I had had ravioli the other day for lunch and I really enjoyed it. And this was on sale this week, so it's dairy free. So I'm excited to try that and hopefully I'll like it. Let's see. Back here we've got a kombucha, an olipop, and a poppy. So these are all kind of gut-friendly drinks. The, this one I just really like for the taste, the ginger lime. This one's high fiber. And then the kombucha, that's my boyfriend's. And cherries, those are frozen cherries that I'm going to use for my smoothies. Cream cheese, we're going to make a jalapeno popper chicken. Eggs, we are going to use that for breakfast. And also I have a recipe that I'm going to make and I need to make some poached eggs. Banzo rice. So this kind of goes along with the recipe for the eggs. I'm actually, I think I'm going to make a recipe video on it. It's like a salmon hop and john. We're always looking for new ways to eat seafood because we it's not our favorite, but we're, we're trying to like it more. So I think I'm going to post a recipe. So that's actually what this salmon over here is for. If it turns out good, I'll post it and hopefully it'll give you all some inspiration and a new way to try seafood. We've got some whole milk and almond milk for smoothies and just whatever else we need it for. I use the whole milk in recipes. Spindrift, my favorite drink to just have, have probably one or two a day. Um, these pickles. So normally I'll make my own pickles because I'm actually allergic to benzoic acid, which is a preservative used in a lot of pickles. And then if they don't have that, they'll usually have yellow number five or something like this something like that. So this one is just the cucumber, vinegar, salt, garlic, grape leaves, and dill. I've heard these are good and they were on sale, so I wanted to try those. These were also on sale. So they've got their brown rice, quinoa, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, sesame seeds, poppy seeds, seaweed. So I wouldn't have gotten these if they weren't on sale, but I'm excited to try these. Dates were on sale. I use these in salads. I use them to make hemp milk. Turkey burgers for my boyfriend's lunches. These curries. I've got two different kinds of curries. They look kind of interesting. I can't have these because I'm allergic to a bunch of the spices in here. But this one's a turmeric cumin ginger one. And then this one, I think it was a tomato. Tomato powder. He uses these on the chickens that he meal preps parchment paper for baking. We got a lot of, we got actually four chicken breasts this week. So two are for my boyfriend for his meal preps. Two are for, I'm going to make a mandarin chicken salad and that jalapeno popper chicken I mentioned before. Steak for my boyfriend's lunch. Tea. Two peanut butters. I mentioned in a previous video, my boyfriend and I have to have separate peanut butters because otherwise <laughs> The peanut butter goes missing and it causes an argument, so now we just do our own separate peanut butters. 
chips. These were on sale. We didn't need them. I'm going to actually hide them. <laughs> but they i've noticed chips have been so expensive lately so i was like let's just grab these while they're on sale because we're going to need them at some point almonds so we use those on salads and also as part of that salmon recipe that i mentioned i'm going to make a romesco sauce with those smart water was on sale i didn't get everything i think i did this is our heb haul for this week we have some pork. I'm gonna use this to make spaghetti. It calls for Italian sausage, but I'm allergic to a lot of the spices that they tend to put in there. So I'm just gonna put my own spices in this and make my own sausage. Then I have some bacon. That's gonna be for our jalapeno popper chicken. It's gonna be wrapped in bacon. These roasted red peppers, I normally roast these myself and I actually had a bit of a crisis at the grocery store because I had checked in advance that these were supposed to be about $2.50 and so I worked out that, hey, since I'm using it in a sauce, I'll just buy the, the jar this time. But they keep the jar for the peppers on two different aisles at the store, so at first I could only find this for a dollar more expensive and I had to go find this one on another aisle. I don't know why they do that, but it was very annoying. <laughs> And so the tomato sauce paste and diced tomatoes is going to be to make spaghetti sauce. I noticed that the price of tomato paste went up, so that was a little bit annoying. Fire roasted tomatoes, that's going to be used in the sauce that goes, it's a romesco sauce with those roasted peppers. Garbanzo beans, I'm going to use that in the salmon recipe I mentioned before. Black and pinto beans, I'm going to make refried beans, and those are going to go on our vegetarian baked potatoes. Bands of spaghetti for the spaghetti. Sour cream, I normally like to get a small one that's cheaper, but they didn't have it. And this one is kind of nice because it has the squirt out. Now, the only thing I'll say is I'd, I wouldn't buy the light sour cream. I was even looking at the store today when I was trying to find an alternative and they just there's just a lot of weird stuff that they put in the light version of the sour cream. So the only ingredient in this one, it's not organic, but it's just cultured cream. Whereas the other ones had a bunch of stuff I didn't know what it was and the carrageenan and plus this tastes better anyways. Heavy whipping cream, that's going to be to make the sauce for the jalapeno popper chicken. Cheddar, that we need that for the... Uh, jalapeno popper chicken and for the baked potatoes and then this gouda is just going to be to snack on so some cold brew i think we actually get a better a little bit better deal on this at whole foods i need to double check but we forgot to get it this time normal kombucha that we get and then i saw they had this new one and it's the i guess it's fourth of july summer edition it's cherry coconut and lemongrass and i was not allergic to anything in this so i had to try it Sorry, my hand is shooting. Um, okay. Avocados, we're going to have a salad that we need that for. And for, I don't remember, a couple of things we need that for. Kiwis, going to use that for my smoothie as usual. Plum, this was so good last week. I remembered why it was my childhood favorite fruit. So I got another one of those to have as a snack. Lemons and limes, we had, still had a lot of lemons, but just grabbed a couple. Green onions, we need those for a few different things this week, for the baked potatoes, for the jalapeno popper chicken, and for a mandarin chicken salad we're gonna have. I got this because it was cheap, and we kinda, since we only have five days that we're cooking at home this week, we it was a little bit odd how the salad worked out, and this was a way that we could have something different, and I'm just gonna add some carrots and radishes and an apple cider vinegar to this, and maybe some almonds. Have that as a starter salad one night. Two Fuji apples to snack on with some almond butter. Mandarin oranges. This is for the salad that I mentioned. We're going to have an entree salad. That's a mandarin chicken salad, which that's what the spinach for. We're going to use all that spinach for that. Beets. I'm going to make a kale beet salad that I, I think I kind of came up with it myself. I probably pulled it from some different recipes, but... I like to buy, I like to get the beets as small as possible. They were pretty big this week, so I just got the smallest one, but I just, I like, I think it tastes better that way for some reason. But I'm gonna roast those for about an hour and then put it onto our salad and they're really good. Cucumber for salads, jalapenos for the jalapeno popper chicken, 
side of broccoli, onions just for recipes. So I mentioned the baked potatoes, we're gonna have those for the vegetarian baked potatoes and for, I'm gonna use it as a side with the jalapeno popper chicken. So I think that's everything we got. Here are our receipts for this week. I was a little bummed looking at these because we didn't do good this week. We ended at 325. We did get some extra stuff at Whole Foods just because it was on sale, but I'm still kind of bummed with how much we ended up spending. I think the kale Caesar salad kit definitely wasn't worth it for $5. I can just make our own salad. Plus the, you know, the dressing in there is made out of soybean oil. So I ended up just making our own dressing. So I think that ended up kind of being a little bit of a waste. I'll just make it myself next time. The pickles are really good, but for the price, I don't know. I can make them here. The mushroom ravioli, even though it was on sale, it's really not that good. I tried it. So that was kind of a bust. Other than that, you know, we're spending a lot of money on our drinks kombucha and olipop and all that kind of stuff so we need to rethink that but this is where we ended up for the week all right that's all i have for y'all today i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a comment and i hope that you have a wonderful day and remember that you are beautiful in your own way